how close did you become to being a doctor? Uh, you know, while, while I was in school, I took all of my, my medical classes. You know, my first year I got into the University of Michigan, I thought I was going to, uh, I was like, okay, well, I'm in the residential college, which for those that don't know about the residential college is a very, very small school inside the University of Michigan. Their classes are like five and six people, not that many, we have to learn all these different languages. And so I was kind of taking this creative approach while at the same time in the school, I was taking my anatomy, physiology, I was taking my biochem, my chem one, my chem two. And so I was right along that track. And, um, you know, I got kind of close because I was trying to figure out if I was going to take the test or not. But then uh, my linebacker uh, leader, the leader of the linebackers, a guy named Eric Mays, we call him all, we call him Zeus. Now we call him Dr. Mays because he's a PhD, right? Um, he was like, you know what? You're a baller. And I was like, I don't even know what a baller means. What is, what is a baller? Tell me, explain to me, what is a baller? He's like, you're really good at, the, at, at football. Because I didn't even recognize when I saw myself on the screen, the plays that I was making, because I was just going out there as I, do day in and day out I just like to work and that translated into getting drafted and being able to play football you know professionally for a little bit of time incredible story when you start to feel tired or spread too thin you have said you turn to a simple ritual to stay motivated you keep a note in your pocket that says things like family and legacy or team as a reminder of your goals and even when you get burned out, you keep looking at that piece of paper. You say to yourself, you got to keep going. That's the discipline of an athlete, right? Tahani, that never leaves you. No, I, I think it's something um, that you're born with. I think number one, I think it's something that's reinforced by those um, that are around you. And I think it's also something as it relates to circumstance and how you work through them. Um, and so I always maintain that family, that legacy, that discipline. Um, it was given to me large in part by my parents. Um, you know, my, my father is in the military. My mother is in the military. My father became a contractor. My, my, my mother was one of the first African-American anesthesiologists. She, she basically launched Kaiser Permanente on the East Coast. For those that don't know, the ambulatory care center that came um, from the West Coast, she did, just did a phenomenal job. So I was in a family of those that were disciplined, that were about creating legacy, that were about... Um, building, building things, not for just this generation, but for the generations to come. And so that's kind of how I always approach things. And, and people always say, honey, don't you run out of energy? Yes. Yes. I run out of energy all the time. But as soon as I feel like my tank is low, all I do is look around me. As soon as I feel uh, my tank start to sort of, you know, start to, it's like, uh, what was that monster ink? Right. <laughs> right? Yep. So monster, yeah. <laughs> you know, they fill up these canisters because they go and remember the screams and, and then they realize that laughter was something that filled up the tank that much uh, faster. And that was that much more powerful. And that's a, that's the same thing in terms of the way you think about family, the way you think about legacy, you immediately look around, you immediately think about those that you're supporting, you immediately think about those that are going to come after you, you think about widening the path. And all of a sudden, you have 98 octane just stuck in your in your jetpack and you're ready to roll because there's no time there's no time to waste and um, that's just always how I've thought about things because in the end and and this is what Lloyd Carr always talks about it's not about you it's about something greater than yourself and if you can always keep in your mind it's about something greater than yourself then even when your your tank runs a little bit light that idea alone fills it right back up immediately. Lloyd Carr, form, famous former Michigan coach, and of course, led the team to that national title. 